Good evening. I'm Jarita Postlewaite, Superintendent of Charleston County Schools, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to this graduation celebration for the class of 2020. As you know, this virtual ceremony is just the first way graduates will be recognized. Your school has planned face-to-face -face diploma awarding ceremonies for you in the coming days. Today, I want to acknowledge up front that we'd all rather be together, just as we would have preferred to spend the last two months going to class, participating in or attending school activities, going to the prom, just enjoying the normal school during the final weeks of your journey that began many years ago in elementary school and brought you to this point. However, the pandemic has forced all of us to rethink everything that we previously knew as normal. One thing that has not changed is your remarkable accomplishments. We gather today to recognize the relationships that you have formed, to honor your achievements, your memories, and your hard work. So I offer to each of you my personal congratulations you've achieved this milestone event of graduation. We will celebrate you virtually today and look forward to seeing you in person to offer you our best wishes as you enter the world as the remarkable class of 2020. Welcome to all SOA seniors and their loved ones. I invite you to put on your cap as you view the ceremony, making sure your tassel is on the left side. Not only are our accomplishments as students definitely worth noting, but our accomplishments as artists are as well. The portraits we've painted and poems we've written and music we've mastered. These past few months have been surreal. Now, like never before, I can picture my day-to-day -day life being in the pages of a textbook that our children will study one day. And it's for that very reason that the skills we've developed as artists are so important. It was, after all, in the midst of the Spanish Civil War that Pablo Picasso painted Guernica, the famous mural that persists as one of the most poignant anti-war artworks to this day. It was in the strife of 1945, during a cigar worker strike in this very city, that tobacco workers sung for the first time the modern version of We Shall Overcome, a song so powerful it became the soundtrack to the civil rights movement. And it was directly after the horrors of 9-11 that Colin McCann penned the novel Let the Great World Spin, a book that decades later would lift the spirits of dozens of AP Lang students, reminding us that even when times are hard, the earth continues to turn and we continue to have each other. In times of uncertainty and tragedy, art is how we cope, how we pick ourselves back up again and continue forward. Not all of us will become composers and playwrights and designers, but all of us have been shaped by our time at SOA. And I know we can persevere in the face of this pandemic because we are equipped with the skills to create beauty, even as the world insists on showing us ugly truths. It's been said that life gives out lemons. Well, sometimes your graduation ceremony is on YouTube. Even still, the performances you're about to see will astound, inspire, and comfort you. Sweet as lemonade. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in gave proof through the night that our flag was still 
Hello, class of 2020. Right now, I'm imagining you all in front of me, clad in caps and gowns, tassels like red and yellow stars. This image is nebulous and celebratory, and it gives me joy and hope and a little bit of sadness, because instead of all of you, I'm speaking to an empty theater wishing it were filled. In all honesty, I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to say. I'm not exactly sure which anecdote to insert here or how to thank every one of you for these past seven years. But I guess I'll tell you this and it's the best I can do. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about moving on, a symptom of growing up, I guess. And it brings me to something a friend recently said as we discussed this year's uncertainty and that of the next. I'm going to miss the marshes the most, she said. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about moving on. And now it's all I can think about, of driving down dark stretches of US 17 wedged between briny inlets and waffle houses, drives I know we've all taken. The cord grass and molting blue crabs, watery coffee, hash browns, a creamsicle sky, the salt cicadas honeysuckles, the bless your hearts, and that one waitress who always calls you honey in a southern accent, the consistency of butter, and that rain that never seems to come, but when it finally does, all at once. There's a kind of creation in the marsh, like when my sister and I were younger, plodding through the mud to try and find this discarded couch in a giant pair of boots behind our house, convinced that a giant lived there. Our childhood filled with the same pungent smell, the growing pains and the afterburn of salt, mottled blue and green, and I think that's why I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss the same kind of creation I saw you do every day, your imagination, your music melting in the hallways, your acrylics across canvases, your dresses meticulously sewn, dancing ballets, the poetry in it all, the stage you acted on and the characters you embodied. Creation you'll find yourself coming back to again and again because you're all artists and artists are needed, especially in this world, especially now. We'll find ourselves back here too, one way or another. And when you do, roll down your windows, heat rising off the road, the half moon mouths of oysters, the lightning in the clouds. I will think of many things. I will think of the marsh, of adolescent adventures. I will think of the relief when it finally begins to rain, when everything becomes sweet and familiar like honey. And I will think of all of you, the car moving along the road as you do now, moving on, the faint ghost of summer on your lips, everything blue and green, and honey, do you want your syrup on the side? A brief moment when you forget where you're going, where you've been, you, the artists, somehow still driving, somehow still driving forward. With all the confusion and chaos of the last few months, I want to leave you with this. Something I recently read in William Faulkner's The Sound and the Fury. Something I think embodies today, maybe tomorrow, or maybe even the night, you're back driving down US 17 again, years from now even, and you find yourself wedged between the inlet and the Waffle House. Faulkner writes, some days in late August at home are like this. The air thin and eager like this, with something in its sad, and nostalgic and familiar. Thank you. Good evening, class of 2020. As I address a studentless Rose Marie Myers Theater, I am reminded of just how much life you bring to these buildings. It's a difficult time to be moving out into the world. As you say goodbye to friends you've known all your life, you have to check yourself to keep from embracing them. As you continue to find your voice as a young adult, you find it muffled by a mask. And as you hurtle toward a future years in the making, you find it uncertain, perhaps even falling away before your eyes. You have faced this pandemic with grace and a quiet courage. Whether plugging away on your schoolwork from home, finding virtual ways to lift up others, or creating masks for the healthcare workers risking their safety right here in Charleston. Maybe as you prepare to watch this video, 
you wondered if you could get away with wearing pajamas to your own graduation. And you were both pleased and a little saddened to find that the answer was yes. <laughs> I know this is not the June you would have chosen for yourselves, but it is the June that has arrived. 2020 remains your year, and she waits to see what you will make of her. You are graduating from the School of the Arts. You are no strangers to making your own beauty. I've thought a lot today about all the little miracles I would find if I investigated any of the art classrooms. The dresses made real from nothing but ideas. The canvases so gently filled with color. The sheet music tired from the frequent touch of fingers. This school is a testament to your talent and your drive. Yes, you're living in a time when toilet paper is hard to come by and protests are abundant. But you will find a way to make this beautiful. It's who you are, all of you. We have a responsibility now more than ever to reach out to each other and lend our support. You've spent the last four years, or maybe even seven, thriving in a community of artists but now we're going off on our own wild paths. And the next community you'll find will be the one you build yourself. As artists, your visions of the world are powerful. And it's your job to recognize the value of your perspective and consider the good you might do in sharing it. Thank you to the essential workers and medical professionals who allow our world to continue to turn. And a huge thank you to the parents, teachers, and administrators of SOA. You've guided us day after day, year after year, and it's because of you that we're here today, even if here is a video feed. Where others might have lamented the loss of tradition, the SOA staff saw the opportunity to create new traditions and seized this opportunity with enthusiastic hands. We, the student body, salute you for your efforts and your passion. You've brought light sometimes literal laser lights, to a dark time. And now for the difficult part, saying goodbye, especially when I haven't had the chance to say hello to most of you in months. To quote the iconic Leslie Nope, let's break out a map. Not the old, out-of-date one that shows where we've been, but a crisp new one that shows where we might go. Class of 2020, you have officially completed high school despite hurricanes, despite the occasional freeze, and of course, despite COVID-19. The world threw everything it could at you, and you marched unyieldingly on. Now we find ourselves in a waiting game, straining to hear the sound of doors swinging open, watching for playgrounds to fill with more than caution tape. But as we wait, we've been gifted a stillness that is unusual for our culture. This is a rare time in which the world has slowed down for us, and it should not be wasted. Just for a moment, put thoughts of the future aside. Stop, take a breath, rest, and then do what artists do best. Make this beautiful. Thank you. When you see the individual images of our seniors, you will see the following distinctions listed. Senior thesis, SOA credential, and SOA credential with distinction. The SOA senior thesis is a culminating project all of our artists have the opportunity to participate in during their senior year. And it is a requirement for the SOA credential and the SOA credential with distinction. Artists who choose to participate in senior thesis are often paired with artist mentors in the community and work with our arts faculty to create a final, independent exhibit, composition, concert, performance, or publication that fully showcases the honing of their voice and the comprehensive cultivation of their craft. Students who earn an SOA credential completed the senior thesis, volunteered for at least 80 hours of community service, achieved a minimum of a 3.0 grade average, and earned credit for an art or music history course. 
To be awarded an SOA credential with distinction, our seniors have met the requirements of the SOA credential plus an additional 80 hours in community service.
SOA Class of 2020, wherever you are viewing this ceremony, I invite you now to stand. With the power vested in me by the State of South Carolina and the Charleston County School Board, I, Shannon Cook, verify that you, the candidates, have satisfied the requirements of the South Carolina High School Diploma. At this time, I hereby certify these diplomas of the graduating class of Charleston County School of the Arts for 2020. You may now move your tassels. Congratulations, graduates. We praise the SOA for the arts that will stay. Inspiration to guide us into future days. We give honor, SOA. Art is power, come what may. To art be the glory in its vision will stay. Seven years later, and I still remember my first day of SOA vividly. Since then, I've discovered that SOA is one of the most unique communities I'll ever have the blessing of being a part of. Not only have my teachers shown me endless grace and counsel, I've been surrounded by some of the most talented students in all of CCSD. We've watched one another stretch, grow taller and wiser, guiding each other when needed. I know that in the years to come, I'll find myself looking back on my time at SOA, somehow forgetting about the stench of the paper mill and the goose infestation, only remembering the hundreds of hours we spent laughing and learning together. Although no one needs a reminder about the uncertain and unfortunate times we find ourselves in today, I want to emphasize how proud I am of our class for sticking it out and seeing the end of this year through. Even if it was not how any of us pictured graduation or goodbye at the beginning of this school year, thank you for tuning in to today's virtual ceremony anyway. And with that, we are graduates of School of the Arts. Congratulations, y'all. <laughs>